now in storm mode. All right, right back at you, 9.02 the time now. We've had several more severe thunderstorm warnings posted, and as you can see, it encompasses a large area of southwest and south central Wisconsin. I will run down the warnings for you quickly. We did have the one warning expire at 9 a.m. for uh, Crawford County, but Crawford County in the green right here is still under a flash flood warning. There has been flooding taking place already in that area. Uh, upwards of a couple inches of rain has fallen over the past hour, and some spots have seen even more than that. We also have severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the latest one uh, first of all here, and uh, the newest warning posted uh, is this one, and it uh, includes a large area of south central Wisconsin, Columbia, Dane, Green, Sauk counties, all included in that severe thunderstorm warning. It will be in effect until 10 a.m. for all those counties. 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size hail, uh, the biggest threat with these thunderstorms. And uh, thunderstorms were located along a line to the west of here. They are now moving east very rapidly. They are moving at 70 miles per hour. People affected by this warning, uh, just under three quarters of a million people affected in those counties under the severe thunderstorm warning. There are also a portion of Rock County included in that severe thunderstorm warning. So a lot of people over south central Wisconsin under severe thunderstorm warnings right now. Okay, let's look at some radar. Here's what we have, and uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer uh, on southern Wisconsin for you, and uh, we'll talk about this a little bit, and then we'll, we'll start to track it in a little bit, but uh, uh, I wanted to zoom in on this, and uh, I'll freeze it for you in just a moment when we get to the latest image. Okay, so this is what we have on radar right now. There has been some rain in the Madison area, and we have had some thunderstorms in the Madison area as well. Uh, nothing severe at this point. The heaviest rain, obviously, is off to the west of here uh, over Crawford County, now moving into Richland County and Grant County as well. This is a bow echo, an echo that has that curvature to it, kind of bows out in front. And this is a signature that we look for to indicate strong winds. And that is the threat with these thunderstorms. There may be some hail with it. I mentioned quarter-sized hail. Earlier this morning, the big threat was hail. Now we're looking at strong winds. And these are damaging winds. These uh, are winds 60 plus miles per hour that will take down trees. They will take down power lines. Uh, they will damage structures roofs uh, tear siding off houses. Uh, that's the type of wind that we have coming through right now. If you are in uh, Grant County, the western part, you've already seen the strongest winds. If you're in Crawford County, you have already seen the strongest winds. If you're in western Richland County, you have seen the strongest winds. If you are in the eastern part of Richland County, far eastern Grant and southern Grant County, now is the time to seek shelter. You have not gotten into those strong winds yet. They are approaching, though, and these winds uh, typically will be just out ahead of the heaviest band of rain. So we're looking a mile or two out ahead of this band. What happens is we get what's called a gust front. These thunderstorms will produce very heavy rainfall, and they will have very strong downdrafts. And when those downdrafts reach the ground, they can't go anywhere. It's, uh, you know, the ground isn't going to give, so it's similar to taking a bucket of water and throwing it on the ground. When you hit it, it spreads out ahead of you, and that's what the wind will do as well. So the strongest winds are just out ahead of this line of thunderstorms. Uh, they are uh, 60 or in excess of 60 miles per hour moving across Grant County now. And this is an extended line of very strong winds. I think we are going to have widespread damage with these thunderstorms as they move through southern Wisconsin, uh, especially from Richland Center uh, and on down through Grant County and into uh, the state of Iowa as well. These are moving in our direction, and again, they are moving very quickly. Uh, we will track these storms. They're going 70 miles per hour, so I'm going to have to back out a little bit here uh, before we can uh, we can track these. And uh, again, we'll draw the line on here. Again, the strongest winds, and I'm going to draw this line where the strongest winds are occurring, and they're going to be just out ahead of this line of thunderstorms. This is moving to the east-southeast at about 70 miles per hour, so we'll put her on 70. And uh, these are the cities and towns that are going to be affected by this line of thunderstorms if it does indeed hold together. It has shown no signs of weakening. 
over the past four or five hours. This developed over western Minnesota and western Iowa and is now moving through southern Wisconsin. So nine minutes from Dubuque. If you're in Dodgeville, Mineral Point area, you have about 15 minutes or so, 29 minutes from Baraboo. Uh, here in Madison, we're looking at about 45 minutes for this line of strong winds to arrive. They will be followed by very heavy rainfall. Uh, so uh, the gust front is about 45 minutes out from Madison, 52 minutes from Sun Prairie. Uh, I think this line will probably affect more of southern Wisconsin in time. Uh, and uh, again, it's holding together. I would suspect at this point, and uh, I'll get rid of the tracking for you now, uh, the areas that are probably seeing the strongest winds right now are right in here. Uh, over uh, Grant County in this general vicinity. Typically, the strongest winds will be in the area where that uh, echo is curved the most, and, and it seems to be curved the most right in here. So the gust front throughout the uh, far southern part of Grant County and into northeastern Iowa, probably producing the strongest winds at this point. But again, this is all moving in an east-southeasterly direction, and it is moving very quickly, 70 miles per hour. That's another indication. When these storms move as quickly as they are moving, you know, typically you'll have storms 30, 40, maybe 45 miles per hour for movement that will produce some pretty strong winds. When you get storms moving 70 miles per hour, uh, there are going to be some pretty strong winds with those storms as they make their way through. So let's put it in motion again for you, and uh, we'll zoom in a little closer on southern Wisconsin again and uh, take a look at uh, the line of thunderstorms that is moving through. Uh, again, the eastern part of Grant County, you need to be seeking shelter now. If you're in western Iowa or western Lafayette County, now is the time to seek shelter as well. Uh, Richland Center, looks like uh, you have gotten the gust front move uh, that has moved through already. Again, it's typically out ahead of the main line of thunderstorms. Now, what you have to look forward to is about an inch and a half of rain over the next hour and very frequent lightning. Uh, we will probably get some power outages uh, due uh, not only to the strong winds, but also lightning strikes throughout southern Wisconsin. This again, moving toward Iowa and Lafayette counties now. Uh, let's throw up the warnings for you one more time so you can take a look at those and uh, you can see the counties uh, and there are a lot of them under severe thunderstorm warnings. Grant and Richland County, you are under severe thunderstorm warning until 9.30 this morning, which is another 20 minutes. And severe thunderstorm warning for Sauk, Iowa, Lafayette, Green, Dane, Columbia, and the western part of Rock County, that will be in effect until 10 a.m. So that's less than an hour from now. So 50 minutes, these storms are expected to move through all of south central Wisconsin and then head into the southeast part of the state. You can see that flashing to the south of the Wisconsin Illinois border. Another warning was just posted in that region. Uh, and that encompasses uh, a large area as well, that in effect until 10 a.m. So uh, these warnings uh, covering a lot of people over southern Wisconsin, most of our viewing area population-wise is under a severe thunderstorm warning uh, at this point. Let's go back to some radar for you. And uh, you can see that uh, we do have that big line of thunderstorms continuing its progress uh, toward uh, south central Wisconsin and uh, the line does extend back into Iowa. Why don't we go way out and see what's going on farther to the west. Once this line moves through, this is by far the most severe line of thunderstorms that we have. It's not completely out of the question, though, to have more severe weather develop behind this. I would say uh, our biggest threat of severe weather today is going to be over the next hour or two hours for south central Wisconsin, but we may get some redevelopment this afternoon. There's a cold front moving in from the west, and that's the reason for uh, the severe thunderstorms. Actually, a warm front moving in first. The cold front will follow. Once that cold front moves through, the atmosphere will stabilize, and our threat of severe weather will be done. Uh, that will occur by about 6 p.m. So here's our line of thunderstorms once again, and uh, I will track it for you. So you can pick your cities uh, and see when the arrival of those strong winds will be. Again, the strongest winds are typically just out ahead of the main area of rain or the heaviest area of rain. So we'll go all along the line, moving to the east-southeast at about 70 miles per hour. 
So these are the cities and towns that will be affected uh, by this line of severe thunderstorms. Four minutes from Cedar Rapids. Uh, we don't have any viewers in Cedar Rapids. We do, however, have viewers in Mount Vernon. It's 20 minutes away from Mount Vernon, 40 minutes away from Madison still, and about 49 minutes away from Sun Prairie. And I would expect this line to hold together for the time being. It may diminish a little bit uh, once it gets through the Madison area and starts to head toward southeast Wisconsin. But uh, I would think over the next 45 minutes to an hour, uh, this line of thunderstorms will hold its own and uh, we will get some damaging winds moving through southern Wisconsin. Now, if you do uh, live in the southwest part of the state and you feel it is safe, if the storms have passed you by, possibly in far western Grant County or a portion of Crawford County, if you do have some pictures of flooding that is taking place, which is taking a place in parts of Crawford County, if you have any pictures of damage that may have occurred uh, over the southwest part of the state and you feel it is safe, you know, again, I would wait till the line of thunderstorms moves through before you get out and take any pictures of damage. But by all means, please post them to our Facebook page. You can uh, send them uh, via Twitter, uh, email them in as well. Uh, we would uh, like to see some of the damage uh, that has taken place over the southwest part of the state. And speaking of damage, let's take one uh, more quick look at uh, some of the local storm reports that we have seen. Uh, and uh, we'll try this wind one over, uh, this one is over uh, Grant County, the western part of Grant County from the looks of things. And uh, we'll get in on that one and see uh, exactly what took place there. Cassville, a barn blown down in uh, Cassville in Grant County. Uh, that report came in at 9.05. So that came in uh, nine minutes ago. Uh, thunderstorm wind. And that just goes to show you how strong the winds are, barn blown down. Uh, you have to have 70 miles per hour uh, in wind typically to uh, do structural damage of that type. And it could possibly even be in the 75 or even 80 mile per hour range uh, as that made its way through the western part of Grant County. Now, uh, that's the one report we've gotten over uh, Grant County. I can tell you there are many areas that are receiving damage over uh, Richland and Grant County right now. So do seek shelter. This is not the time to go out on your porch and, and uh, do sightseeing. Uh, you need to get into a low-lying area, basement, uh, or safe structure, an interior part of your house if you don't have a basement. Uh, these uh, thunderstorms, again, have a history of producing very strong winds, and there is a wake of damage across southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, and now uh, starting to move into the southwest part of Wisconsin. And these are heading toward uh, Iowa County now and uh, Lafayette County, and we will see them move into Sauk County as well, and uh, it's just a matter of time uh, before those do move into uh, Sauk County. The leading edge, uh, the strongest winds we are seeing again, uh, I will draw them on for you. Uh, they are out ahead of the main area of rain, the heaviest rain. Typically, this is where the gust front will be, just out ahead of that. So uh, if you are anywhere this side of uh, that line, if you are to the east of that line, seek shelter. If you are to the west of the line, you more than likely have already seen the gust front go through and you're probably uh, already looking at some damage in those areas. Uh, but if you are east, now is the time to seek shelter and uh, I'll draw a circle on for you. And if you live in this circle, now is the time to seek shelter. Much of Sauk County, Iowa County, the western part of Lafayette County, and eventually uh, the, the other counties, uh, Columbia, Dane, Green, and the uh, eastern part of Lafayette County, you will need to seek shelter. But uh, for the time being, uh, those are the areas you need to get into some shelter now. 60, 70, possibly locally as high as 80 mile per hour winds. And uh, you saw we have uh, reports of a barn blown down over the western part of Grant County now and uh, flood, uh, flooding taking place over Crawford County in uh, southwest Wisconsin, Crawford County right here. This is where the flooding's taking place. I wanna pause this for you as 
our initial thunderstorm. Let's go a little bit more. This thunderstorm that moved through Crawford County earlier, and this is 7.30 this morning, this was the hail producer, and we had reports of uh, 1.3 inch diameter hail over the southern part of Crawford County. Uh, but uh, the threat of hail uh, takes a uh, back seat to the threat of wind with the line of thunderstorms that is moving through now. It's not to say this isn't a hail producer, but uh, this is mainly going to be a wind producer over southern Wisconsin, uh, as well as probably a flood producer for some people. Almost certainly standing water uh, right now, uh, if not rising water, uh, over a portion of uh, western Grant County and certainly Crawford County. This area uh, has seen some very heavy rainfall uh, already. Um, the heaviest thunderstorms now starting to move into the eastern part of Grant County. Uh, Richland Center, you're seeing some very heavy rainfall, frequent lightning. I haven't shown you the lightning yet. Why don't we take a look at that? And... Uh, you can see where uh, the the lightning uh, has moved, and there is frequent lightning with these thunderstorms, and we'll put it in motion for you. Look at all those lightning strikes, and you can see how those thunderstorms did produce a lot of lightning as they moved into southwestern portions of the state, and uh, now lightning uh, taking place, frequent lightning across Richland County, Grant County, and starting to move into Iowa County as well. One last look at the warnings. I'm going to take a little break and then we'll break back into regularly scheduled programming, but uh, we'll run down the warnings for you one more time. Uh, 9.18 now the time. The warnings that remain in place, Grant and Richland County, you are under a severe thunderstorm warning. The area is in yellow uh, in uh, both Grant and Richland County. Let me move this a little for you so uh, you can see a little better uh, the areas that we are talking about. Uh, Grant and Richland County, the area is shaded in yellow under a severe thunderstorm warning until 9.30 this morning. The rest of the area is shaded in yellow in Wisconsin, including Sauk County, Columbia County, Iowa County, Dane County, Lafayette, Green, and the western part of Rock County. You are under a severe thunderstorm warning until 10 o'clock this morning. Very strong winds uh, being reported over southwest Wisconsin, heading toward south central Wisconsin. We'll take a break. I will be back with you within the next 10 minutes to update you on this severe weather situation.